Hey guys, what is up? Dota Tech here, and today I'm bringing you my $1,500 LAN gaming rig. Now, a LAN gaming rig, it's basically a small form factor computer that you can pick up and take to your friend's house, uh, or wherever you want to take it. And to be a LAN gaming rig, it's got to be small, compact, easily accessible, and it's got to be easy to take around. So, let's jump into it here, guys. For our processor, we're using the Intel Core i5-4690K. This is a Devil's Canyon chip, which means it's the Haswell refresh, and it's a quad-core clocked at 3.5GHz, but it will turbo boost to 3.9GHz. It's on the socket LGA1150, and it's got 6MB of L3 cache. And it's achieving all of this for the price point of $290. For our motherboard, we're using the Gigabyte Z97N Wi-Fi. This motherboard has the socket LGA1150. It's with the MITX form factor. It can handle up to 16 gigabytes of 3100 MHz memory, which is absolutely insane. If you're putting in 3100 MHz memory into your system, it's going to be a very expensive and very fast system. This motherboard also comes equipped with SATA 6 and USB 3. So, yeah, it's also got Wi-Fi, hence the name Z97N Wi-Fi, and it's achieving all of this for only $175. For memory, we're using Corsair Vengeance, and we're going with 16 gigabytes of DDR3, 1600 MHz RAM. Now, our motherboard can take up to 3100 MHz, but I looked at some 3100 MHz RAM, actually it was, uh, I think it was 3000 MHz, and it was ridiculously expensive. So we're just going with this, and it's going to cost about $230. For storage, and now this is going to be our only storage, so if you've got a little more money you might want to pick up something a little bigger. You still want to have an SSD though, so we're going with a Samsung 840 EVO, and this is a 250GB SATA 6 SSD drive. Now, its max speed is 600 megabits per second, which is really fast. The, the the max internal speed, I think, is somewhere around 580. But still, this is a very nice drive for $150. Like I said earlier, though, if you need more than 250 gigs, you'll definitely want to get an SSD because this case that we're using, isn't it can hold hard drives, but not easily. And as I said, it's only $150. For a graphics card, we're going with the EVGA GeForce GTX 760. This card has 2GB of GDDR5 memory, has a max resolution of 4096 by 2160 and that's off one single port by the way. This can support up to 4 display outputs and I think with DisplayPort you can daisy chain up to 3 monitors, I'm not sure with Nvidia cards though. Um, its base clock for the core is 1072 megahertz and its boost clock is 1137 megahertz. It's got 1152 CUDA cores and it's only going to cost $340. Now this card, it will play any game on the market today at medium to high settings, some games even maxed out at 1080p. And yeah, it's really quiet since it's got EVGA's ACX cooler and as I said it's only $340. For a power supply, we're using a Bitphoenix Fury. This is a 550 watt power supply that's 80 plus gold certified and is semi-modular. Now, what the 80 plus standard means is at 100% load, it's going to be at least 80% efficient. And then you have bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and titanium. So this is quite a high-end power supply. You don't usually see platinum and, and I don't think I've ever seen titanium. But yeah, this is a very solid power supply. I've heard it's very quiet, and it's only going to be $130. Now for the case. This is what makes it a LAN box. This is the Corsair Graphite 380T. This case supports mini ITX boards only. It has USB 3, a fan controller, and as well as some fancy LEDs. It's got two small side panel windows, on one on either side so you can see into your build and it's perfect for LAN rigs and it's only going to cost $180. Thanks for watching guys, please check out my channel, link on screen right here and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, link also on screen. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.